Hey Tech Heads, in this short series of videos I want to show you how to easily download, install and configure the EMC VNX Simulator. Now the EMC VNX Simulator is ideal if you want to become familiar with the product itself, the management interface, or whether you're just looking for a new product to mess around with in your home lab and also uh, something to present out some shared storage to your um, uh, Hypervias uh, instances that you're running in your lab. So um, this is the first video in the series. Subsequent ones, as I mentioned, will cover things such as installing and configuring it. But without further ado, I'll show you how easy it is just to download and get the latest version. So the first thing you want to do is open a web browser, navigate to support.emc.com, like so. Now the, the support.emc uh, com portal here. This is free to register with and uh, log on to, um, as well as just downloading products. I mean, there's a whole wealth of stuff on there, not just the simulator, but there's fun stuff to play with in your lab, such as the VSI plugin for vSphere, uh, even the new web-based uh, interface, as well as uh, a load of other downloadable goodies as well. There's also a, a very proactive uh, community uh, around it. So once you have a log on, you can go in there, ask questions, answer questions and what have you, uh, as well as access various uh, knowledge bases and what have you. So if you don't have an account already, like I say, it's free, easy to do. If you're an EMC customer or partner, click on this top link, otherwise use the one underneath. Now obviously I work for EMC, so I have a log on to it, but just to show you that anyone can, can get one, I've actually registered my own personal email address uh, for an account. So it's uh, just my email address like so, and I'll just log on. So just to show you, I haven't got any sort of elevated privileges here or anything like that. Um, this is what you get when you when you register. So like you see, there's a few of the areas that I mentioned beforehand, uh, support by product, downloads, obviously that's where we're gonna be going, the community, and also the, uh, there's a service center uh, based at, in, in that as well. But the, the two areas you'll probably most likely be uh, looking at if you're just wanting to use this for your lab will be the downloads in the community area. So let's click on downloads firstly. And in the search box at the top, you want to type VNX slash VNXE, like so. Select that option there with the VNX, VNXE family and press the search button. Now that's going to go away and find all the most popular pro uh, downloadable items for both the Series 1 and Series 2 of the VNX and VNXE. And uh, produce a list here. Now it's going to be quite an extensive list. Um, to make this easier, once the results come back, which will be any second now, Obviously, there's quite a bit, bit of stuff here. I definitely uh, advise that you go through. Have, have a look and see what you can download. There's some pretty, pretty cool stuff in there. Now, what we want to do is search by title. And what we could do at this point is scroll on down. But as you see from the right uh, search, uh, the scroll bar there, that's going to take quite a while. So what I recommend doing at this point is just doing a quick search for simulator. And that'll take you down towards the end of the list. So it's much, much easier to do it this way. Now, when you get to this part of the screen here, you'll see there's different offerings. Um, there's the earlier versions here of, of the uh, operating environment. Uh, that one there, for example, was 7.1.4.7. Uh, and you'll see there's two options. There's a single and a dual data mover. For most of you, the single data mover will be fine. Um, but if you're wanting to use this for um, upskilling yourself, familiarization for the product, or, or maybe educational purposes, perhaps you're sitting uh, an exam associated with this, uh, maybe you want to get two data movers up and running in your environment. But as I mentioned, in most instances for your average lab, the single data mover would be fine. Now, there's two earlier versions here. These are both dated, uh, there's one in 20, September 2012, there's one May 2013, but the latest one uh, at the time of recording this is August 27th, 2013. And you'll notice here, rather than having two versions, the single and the dual data mover for downloading, um, it's, it's been bundled up into a single package. Now, this is the one we want to download. Obviously, you want to run the latest version. There's two versions. There's one with the OVA package and there's a zip package. Now, I recommend downloading the OVA package because obviously it's a lot easier for um, importing that into your ESXi environment. Uh, it will also run under um, VMware Workstation and also Fusion as well. So you don't need to have a full-blown lab environment. You could actually run it on your home desktop PC, running Workstation or Fusion. Um, um, uh, quite easily. So, uh, and the difference here, um, like I say, everything's bundled into a single package here. This latest version, what it does, um, what determines whether you have a single or dual data mover is how much memory you assign the um, 
the uh, simulator VM itself at, at time of creation. Um, so for example, anything that four gigs, which is the standard you'd, you'd uh, um, associate with that VM, it will give it a single data mover. However, if you allocated six gigabytes of memory or more, it will spin up or it will create that second data mover for you. So out of the box, it'll come as a single data mover. If you want the second data mover up and running, simply just increase the memory on the VM and it will automatically drop that second data mover in. So at this point here, uh, obviously that you can download the checksum there if you just want to double check the validity of, of the download. Otherwise, just go ahead and click on the link such as this. And uh, like I say, download the OVA package, much easier to do. And one important thing here is I hope you're on a good internet link because the download itself is 2.9 gigabytes, so uh, can take a while. So uh, that's how you download it. This is the first of the videos in the series. The next one, um, I'll show you how to uh, install it, and the subsequent one, I'll show you how to configure it up and also present it through, in this instance, to a vSphere uh, environment. So I hope this helps, and uh, check back soon for the next video in the series. Thanks very much.